Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. And I'm Lindsay, and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus. And on our journey this week, we are taking a trip to Pennsylvania. And learning to lean on the Lord. to Pennsylvania and we'll be in the Lancaster County area for about the next two weeks so if you're in the area we would love to try to connect. We will have one singing program scheduled for you guys in the Lancaster area. This singing event will actually be in conjunction with another family from our church in North Carolina and together we're working on another children's music DVD. This evening of singing will actually be part of that DVD project and we'll be sharing about four songs. So check the information in the description below and we'll look forward to seeing you there. Also, we have a quick update from our Pilgrim Road Studio campaign. Currently, our studio campaign is 42% funded by 129 backers. Head on over um, to PilgrimRoadStudio.com to check it out. Okay, good job, buddy. <laughs> what Silas was saying was to head on over to PilgrimRoadStudio.com to check out uh, our studio campaign. There's 28 days left to help support this project. We also will have Lindsay's new Her Heart Sings album available so you can pre-order it there. Show your support. Thanks a lot. Right now we find ourselves at a weekend of camping, singing, and spiritual encouragement called Kingdom Fellowship Weekend. There are about a thousand people here from different backgrounds and we've really been blessed and encouraged and challenged this weekend. So we'll show you around and introduce you to some of the interesting folks we've met this weekend and share some of the things we've been challenged with as well. folks so I'm here with Clark Ray uh, Hi. so Clark you're part of a big church community up there in Boston called followers of the way y'all are involved in like missions in Boston mm -hmm. urban ministry living in yep. community yeah mm -hmm. uh, you have house churches mm -hmm. started a college yes uh, <laughs> yeah. and you're also working on a project called the historic faith yes so tell us a little bit about the historic faith and where they can get some more information yeah there was a point in my life where I did not understand the history of my faith. We have seen a, a strong representation of Christianity that know more about the history of their country that they live in now than their citizenship in the, in the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. the history of the church. And so what we wanted was a place online, thehistoricfaith.com, where people could go and learn about history of our faith, about the earliest Christians. Yeah. But not just about them, but why it matters today. Yes. And what, how we should be living today to be impacting the world in the same way that they change the world. We, our heart is to make that something for you guys. Anybody that's interested in having a better understanding of their faith in the kingdom of God, of our forefathers and what they did for us, they died so that we could actually receive that. If you want to be strengthened in that, I, I hope that your listeners uh, would be interested in checking out thehistoricfaith.com. 
and I hope you'll be blessed by it. So for all of you that are homeschooling, this makes great curriculum mm -hmm. for busy moms and dads. You know, you can listen to this stuff mm -hmm. uh, while you're working around the house or whatever. Or just looking at, at the history of my faith has really opened my eyes, and I think mm -hmm. it'll open your eyes too. So check it out, and thanks for sharing your time with us, Thank Clark. You. Bless. God bless you. Thank you. So here we are on the porch of our little uh, camping cottage. Lindsay, have you enjoyed your time this weekend? I have enjoyed it immensely. It's been just such a blessing to be around people who are really seeking the Lord with their whole heart. Uh, we're here on the last day, just getting ready to head out. We actually didn't run the camera very much this weekend because we wanted to just be in the moment. For me personally, I've been challenged in the area of really leaning into the Lord. Because it's easy, it's very easy for me just to, to sit back and just relax and just say, oh, I don't really want to listen. I don't really want to hear. I don't really, really want to be challenged. I just want to take it easy and just go with the cultural flow or, or even just the, or, or even just to take the easy road in my Christian life. I want to lean in. I want to lean into that conversation and let it sink into my head and into my heart and out of my hands and through my actions rather than just, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I heard it before. And... The thing that I've been thinking a lot about this weekend or been challenged with is the responsibility that I have. It's not just who I associate with or you know what my family is doing, but it's really the, the inner workings of my own personal heart and allowing the Lord to really fill me and change me from the inside out and give me that new heart and continue to allow Him to work in my life that way. Let Him work in you and through you so that you can reach out to others and be a blessing and really make a difference in the world for the sake of the gospel. Joyce, what's your favorite thing about the weekend? Uh, getting to meet a lot of new friends. And what's one good way to make new friends at a place like this? Being friendly and playing nicely. Thanks for being a friendly, nice boy. Yeah. Silas, what was your favorite thing about the weekend? Uh, playing on the playground. You had a lot of fun, didn't you? Yeah. What's your favorite part of the weekend? Did you have fun? Did uh -huh. you play? So we hope you guys are blessed and encouraged this week. We have been super refreshed. We've got more adventures for you guys from the road here in Pennsylvania. And we'll get back to finish our studio in a couple of weeks. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and look forward to more from us soon. Boys, are you ready to sign off? So go out, make a difference, and serve the Lord with all your heart.